Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a return viewer and subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. Uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about loft. So pretty much everything about loft. Loft is found in your surface. I'm sure most of everyone already knows about loft. Uh, most people probably use loft to loft between two curves, hit enter and you get a surface, right? Uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth today. Uh, we have several different things out here, but first let's just go ahead and take these open curves that we have out here. Uh, two, two of them are NURBS curves, two of them are poly curves. So we'll just go ahead into our loft uh, command and we'll select uh, up, down, up, down, up and hit enter uh, and it'll give us a surface. So I'm going to click off this real quick because I'm going to do something uh, that you're not supposed to do. Uh, and I'm going to click on this one on this side, click on that one on this side, click on this one this side, and then that side. And of course it jacks it all up. Uh, but it's really uh, no, no big deal. You can tell it's all kinked up and everything. Uh, if you just go to Align Curves, uh, and then uh, click on the little dot next to it, it smooths that out, and then this one's fine. Go to this one here and click on it, and it'll give you the surface as well. And then when you uh, click back on, click enter again, uh, you're, you're, you'll have all the options back available to you. So it, it's not a real big uh, worry or anything. Uh, from here, what you can do is you have several different, uh, right now it's uniform, normal I think is the default. Normal is it, it does uh, an equal, an average amount of stretch, stretching uh, between each curve. So it maintains the curves, but it keeps it at a, an average. Uh, and it, uh, this is good for if you have uh, a bunch of curves that are, let's, let's abort that real quick. If you have a bunch of curves that are lined up, uh, lined up in a row, uh, it's really good for that. Or if there's a lot of spacing between the curves, uh, it, it's good for good for that because uh, it'll take the averages. Uh, okay, so that's that's one thing uh, to keep in mind. So the norm is good for curves that are in lined up or lots of spacing between the curves. Uh, normal is probably what you want to use. Uh, so let's go back uh, to the loft there and let's re-click on our uh, curves here. Two, three, and four. And I kind of clicked them in the middle, but again, it's no big deal. What Ideally, what you want to do is uh, uh, click on the end, same point, same side, like real close to the same edge, and it'll come out good every time. <coughs> So that's one. Right now I got it on uniform, but let's click back to normal. Again, that's average, good for curves that are all lined up together or if they are uh, spaced out pretty far. You want to use the norm uh, loft. Uh, loose is, uh, it takes the surface way off the curves, but it actually spaces out the, um, let's see, it spaces out the, um, control points uh, so evenly so this this kind of surface the loose surface is good for if you're going to do kind of like surface modeling uh, this is a, a much better surface to probably be able uh, to use because they're going to be much more even uh, your control points once you go back to start editing editing the control points uh, loose, uh, tight, what it does is it does exactly what it says. It, it kind of keeps everything real tight to the curves. So little to, uh, as little deviation as necessary to maintain the curves uh, in, in between the curves. All right, uh, and normal and tight are really pretty close for the most part. If you look at the surface, there's very little uh, adjustment done between the two. Uh, and then also uh, uniform is very little uh, done. Uh, but uniform will actually uh, keep the, uh, the knots more, uh, well let's click it up to simple here because should have been doing that to begin with. Uh, will keep the, the knots more uh, evenly spaced. Tight will keep everything as 
tight to the curves as possible and normal will take the average of everything all right and then loose is really good for later doing editing with the surface with control points and then of course straight is exactly what it is uh, it says it is it's, it gives you a straight poly uh, surface one two three uh, surface so uh, that's uh, not good for surface editing at all <laughs> all right uh, you can also close it off let's change this back to norm here uh, you can also close off what it will do is it will take uh, it'll take the last curve wherever the last curve is at. let's drag this one down a little bit so we don't get that jacked up surface uh, it'll take the last curve and take it back to the front curve or the first curve and close it off so one two three four enter there's my surface if I want it closed off now I click on it and it'll actually just close it off okay uh, let's go back to normal there we go so you can kinda see it just kind of closes it off and if you do the loose uh, and you go back in to try and edit points it's it's much more easier because the points are all going to be lined up for you alright so that's kind of uh, all this up in here and closed right these uh, are for uh, surfaces uh, if you're using a surface edge which you can do uh, and then split tangent uh, is kind of uh, let's see uh, poly de nerves but it's kind of it's if you do two surfaces it'll it'll work okay so let's just go ahead and click out let's show that uh, what I would the one option poly uh, or split tangents so if I hit uh, my loft command and I click on this curve and this curve they're their nerves curves right uh, and then I hit enter and enter I have a, a nerve surface let's change that to uh, simplify do not simplify so if I refit uh, it, you can type in a certain millimeter range that you want it to fit at so it's going to fit at what one one thousandth of a, a millimeter uh, do not simplify it just kinda keeps it to the the edge using the top commands here uh, as close as possible of course uh, it's not going to really change much if you do loose because it's just two curves so there's not really much to be loose about uh, and then if I change it right now if I accept it let's say it okay and then I go to points it'll give me a NURB surface uh, but if I go to loft and I loft them and hit enter and enter and I switch it to split tangent now it changed it to a poly curve so if I go to try and turn on points uh, cannot turn on points for poly surfaces so uh, you would not be able to turn on the points for for that uh, okay so we have those we did those so let's hide all that now a lot of people may or may not know of course in your loft it says two point right uh, two points so you are able to uh, sweep uh, between uh, with a point right for loft so if I go to loft and I click the point it says point here but you don't have to click that you can just if you have a point out there you can click on it go to your uh, curves and then go to your last point and then hit enter uh, and then enter again and it'll give you the um, surface uh yeah but let's cancel out of that if uh, the points weren't there let's say there were no points out there uh you can still use uh loft with point uh not using a point on your it's much better to have the point probably depending on what you're working with but uh, you can just click a point and then click in space so uh like if i wanted to go there with that point and then I want to click my surface or it curves and then click another point go to my front view here and then kind of click right in there and then hit enter I, I can still make that uh, surface no problem but it, it put my one point way up in here uh, let's turn off that yeah uh, you know so it's much probably much better if you want more accuracy to throw out your point but it's not a, a necessity you don't have to uh, just FYI okay 
Now we're coming down to the last one here. Uh, this one here, uh, there's no curve here. It's just a surface and a surface and a curve, right? You have to have three curves for this next part to work. Uh, it can be surface, well actually it has to be a surface, a curve, and then another surface or three curves. Uh, but if you go to loft, you can, you can click on a, a, the surface edge as your curve go to the next one and then go to the next one and then hit enter and enter and you have your surface right uh, so nothing new there uh, and then you can change it to to anything you want loose you know uniform whatever uh, but on this you also have two other options because you used a surface here and you use the surface here so if you want, you know, you can see here it comes down straight and goes right into the top of that surface, right? But if you want to maintain tangency there or curvature, you can come up here and, and start tangent. So if you watch this curve here and click on start tangent, uh, you can see now it takes the tangency of this curve coming or the surface coming out into the curve. So you're able to keep the little bit of that curvature going. And you can also to, to the uh, other side if you have a surface you're using up there as well. So now you have like a little bowl shape. Uh, and then of course you can uh, close that off and now it, you can see it moved away from the surface because it's not using the surface as the the um, curvature anymore it's using the curvature of the inside of the item so if I I don't think I can select, select the yeah uh, oh there we go yeah it's taking this surface as the curvature now and not the surface that you use to make the um, make the uh, loft width originally, right? So if you slick it off, it still has our curvature because our even though we hit them, it's still recognizing that they're there. Okay, and then you can rebuild. Uh, we already talked about line curves. So do not select rebuild with points. You can select a certain amount of points that you want to uh, maintain everything with. Uh, but you got to be careful. If you go down too far, it'll move everything away from uh, your your uh, curves. So right now I have three in here. But I'm not going to hit enter. I'm just going to go up here and click this box, and it'll automatically update. And as you can tell. Uh, it's nowhere close to my edge, right? So y you have to be a little careful when you're using uh, the control points uh, and then c type in what you want. Just redo that and it'll just update it. Uh, all right. And let's see. Uh, oh, refit just refits it to however much you want to input in there. And I think that's it. Uh, but there's a lot with. Uh, uh, loft that you can do that uh, a lot of people don't know the little small things in so i hope that helps and if it does please leave a like subscribe and a comment below uh, thanks for watching and good designing